Hi everyone. So we were at Alice Lake Provincial Park last week and we spent a couple of nights there. It was really nice. And we actually filmed a video while we were there, uh, which we'll share some of it with you. But the main part where we were talking, uh, unfortunately we had some technical challenges and didn't turn out. So we had to redo it. So in this video, we're going to share with you four new camping accessories that uh, we recently purchased that we really like. And also we're going to share a few scenes from Alice Lake while we were there and we were able to get some nice footage before the rain started. So hope you enjoy this video. So we were at Alice Lake Provincial Park for two nights last week and we actually made reservations because we wanted to get a powered site and what we didn't realize was that it was during spring break, spring break. so we managed to only get the very last uh, site that was available on the powered side of the campground. Yeah and typically uh, when we're camping we're either boondocking or we're camping in a site that doesn't have any services um, but given the fact that the temperature still gets down to around freezing at night, we thought it would just be nice to be able to hook up to a powered site and then plug in our electrical heater. And when we've got the electrical heater going, it's just, you know, our van can just stay that much warmer and toastier and we don't have to have the furnace coming on and off. So it just makes it that much more enjoyable. So if we can't take the option, we usually do. Before we get started on our four new camping accessories, if you're not really interested in that, then feel free to jump ahead. We'll type timestamp below of our camping in Alice Lake. So the first item we want to talk about is the Coleman Camp Oven. And we just purchased our oven, but we've actually been aware of it for some time. We first saw it on another YouTube channel called Carry On Vagabond. And they purchased the oven oh, probably a couple of years ago. And during that time, have made a number of videos that show different things that they can bake while they're camping. So it looked like it was intriguing to us. So we ordered one online. And what's nice is when it's not put together, it's actually quite small, easy to assemble. And then you put it on your camp stove and can use it to bake things. Carry On Vagabond had noted that they'd actually created a cover for the camp oven. So the camp oven itself has a number of holes in the structure and presumably just helps it breathe as it cooks. But it also means that it'll cool down a little more quickly and probably a little bit more difficult if it's windy. So what the Carry On folks did is they created a cover for it uh, out of a, a fabric that's actually a welding blanket. So we decided to give that a try as well, and I think the blanket's called, we'll put a link to it, Waylander. And we've tried the Coleman oven for the first time on this trip. We had our stove on low, but as low as we could actually have it, and the oven was still between 375 and actually closer to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so it stayed very warm with the cover. And now, it, well, there was no wind that night, but it was, wasn't that warm. It was about five degrees outside, so uh, it did a great job. Mickey used it to create our uh, first vegan banana bread while camping. So another thing I wanted to talk about was our GoTread traction device. Now, I'd seen this first on the Facebook page for the Roadtrek Zion and Simplicity owners. And, and it's a traction device, so it's intended to, you know, something you can put in front of your drive wheels if you're stuck in snow or mud or sand and obviously help you get out of a really awkward situation. So um, we ordered these online from the company which is in Kansas and actually what surprised me is I ordered them online and paid for the least expensive shipping option and yet they still arrived at our place here in about two weeks. So that was very positive. They're about 48 inches long. They're designed actually for a much heavier vehicle than our van is. But what's nice about these is they fold into quite a compact two squares. They come with a lifetime warranty. You can use them either as a traction device or you could also use them as a leveling block. You could either level with one or two levels of the block. So that's also, I think, positive. We've got them stowed under a sofa at the back of our van and they don't take up much room. And hopefully it's something that we'll uh, never actually have to use. Hi, I'm back. So the third item that we purchased was the Trekology camping table. Now it's really small. It's kind of almost like a coffee table size, but we're really looking for things that pack small uh, for our van because we don't have a lot of space. We actually had the Sportineer table before and we really like it. It's a good table. The only issue was the tabletop is actually like a nylon fabric. It was a little bit bouncy. We had trouble putting uh, 
tall items on it like wine bottles or long stem wine glasses and you know I like wine. If we even tapped a little bit everything would get knocked off. So we wanted something a little bit more stable so I looked it up on Amazon and actually found one called Trekology. Um, it's about $30 so very reasonably priced. It's got aluminum slats so it's a little bit more stable, it's shorter and smaller and that seems to help. So far I really like it. It's a good partner to the other table and plus it's very small. It packs up really nicely and it's easy to put together and take apart. So, uh, so far so good. So the last item I wanted to talk about was our moisture absorbing hanging bags. So we saw this the first time on another YouTube channel, Slim Potato Head. And on Amazon, you can buy a bag of six, I believe, and they're reasonably inexpensive. And if you watched our last video, you might have seen it hanging sort of behind Mickey's head here, half full of water, and we forgot to take it down before we filmed. Uh, but we typically have a couple of these in our van. Now, we aren't able to store our van in a place where we have power, so we don't have the ability to hook up a small heater to keep the van moisture a little lower. So we have a couple large desiccant containers, and they work really well at keeping the moisture down in our van. But we find that when we travel, they're just too big to take with us. They, you know, they can spill, they can spill water, you can spill the desiccant on the floor. So what we started doing now is bringing along a couple of these hanging bags. We have one in the back and one in the front, and they stay in the van even when we're, even when the other desiccants are there and we're storing it. But they've worked fairly well for us. They last roughly about two months, and they're not nearly as effective at removing water as the uh, larger uh, desiccant containers that we normally do, but they do a reasonable job and it's just something that we find really helpful um, as we're traveling and we can hang them up in different parts of the van. So something that we'd also recommend you consider. So for all the four items that we just talked about, we'll put links in the description below in case you're interested in purchasing them. Um, we're not sponsored at all. We actually just bought them for ourselves and we really like them so we wanted to share them with you. And now for the footage of our camping at Alice Lake. First day was good, we ended up having some nice weather so we got some nice pictures of Alice Lake and the mountains when we were walking around. And that afternoon we made the vegan banana bread and used our Coleman camp oven for the first time. And I thought it actually turned out quite well. So we'll share some footage with you just to let you know that in advance of uh, our camp, I actually prepared all the ingredients to make it a lot simpler for me once um, we got to the campsite. So I actually put mixed all the dry ingredients together and brought all my wet ingredients. So if you're interested in the recipe, I got it from a website called Oshi Glows. They have some great vegan recipes, so you might want to check that out. And I'll also put the link in the description below. So on the second day, before it started raining, Gordon actually went for a nice paddle on the lake. So we'll share that footage with you. You. And in the afternoon, even though it was pouring rain, we ended up going for a nice little walk around the Four Lakes Trail. And it was a very enjoyable hike. So we'll share that with you as well.
going to be totally unorthodox and mix everything in the baking pan. I already greased it. I want to save on dishwashing, so why make another bowl dirty? Might as well try it and see if it works. All right. The first time trying it out, so we'll see what happens. It's been about half an hour, and now that the heat is pretty high, so it's about 375. So we're just gonna see how it looks. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's maybe ready. I'm just gonna stick a toothpick in or a chopstick in because everyone uses chopsticks to test to see if banana bread's ready. Oh, it looks okay. I think it's done. Proper oven mix would be good. <laughs> Wow, that looks pretty good, I think. So for dinner tonight we've got kind of like a, I guess I can call it a Mexican rice bowl. So we've got some... Without the bowl? Yeah, chipotle Mexican um, vegan sausages and just uh, sauteed them with some carrots and red pepper and black beans and some chili spice. And I've got some greens here, I've got a little bit of tahini dressing to put on top, um, some avocado and some rice, and hopefully it's good. And a very inexpensive bottle of wine. <laughs> I went to a local BC liquor store and bought a half a dozen bottles of wine that were around $10. <laughs> that one's not $10, is it? I think so. Maybe less. <laughs> We'll see how it tastes then. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> For camping. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we'll see what the verdict is for this banana bread. Okay, there's the first piece. <laughs> looks very good. Yeah, it looks alright. It looks done anyway. How long was it in there for? Half an hour. Yeah. But it was more like 400 degrees instead of 350. Yes, assuming the yeah. temperature gauge is anything close to there correct. Mm, very good. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Great. So it was a success, our first time using our uh, Coleman camp oven with our welding blanket. <laughs> it's good. A little sweeter than I'd like because of chocolate. Yeah, there's um, yeah, there's some sugar and maple syrup and some chocolate chips. So. Mm -hmm. Morning, guys.
So we hope you enjoyed this video and found some of it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we will see you next time. See you next time. And, and just a note, uh, you'll see us doing different sections because we were finding we we're making each other laugh. So we had to actually break the video up into different components. We'll add some bloopers at the end. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> there we go. Let's let the train go by. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So we hope you found this video. <laughs> <laughs>